Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Colin, MM0 OPX. It's um, it's the 31st of December uh, 2020, uh, Hogmanay as we say in Scotland. And uh, it's been quite a while since I've actually been out working portable. Uh, the last time I was actually out playing radio was when I was testing the um, phase verticals at my parents' house there about a month ago. So I've managed to get a, a, a pass today uh, from the station manager. So I've came down to my um, favourite saltwater spot. Um, I'm quite lucky that this spot is, is quite close to my house uh, here in West Lothian. So I'm not uh, going out the county. Um, we're in uh, Tier 4 here uh, uh, at the minute here. Um, but uh, I'm maybe having second thoughts. Um, I'll let you see the weather in a minute here. It's actually chucking it down with snow. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I'm going to play some radio here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I, I believe I've got all the things here to, to test my um, phase verticals for 40 metres. Um, now, time of day that it is, it's probably not, again, like the last time, it's not ideal uh, for working DX daylight. Um, but nevertheless, if I can test the... Um, I've got the new box with me, um, which has um, uh, end fire and broadside, so that would be good to test out either. It's just on a few um, European stations. Um, now, the, the, the spot that I've come to, um, it, there's a little um, a little peninsula, a little point, um, but I think the local the local estate has actually put up a load of boulders, um, and I think this is to probably um, discourage some of the idiots that come down here, uh, maybe young ones partying, drinking, and so on. Um, but nevertheless, it's actually it actually works out okay. Um, I'll show you once I get things set up here. Um, I've I've got enough coax here to. Um, to make the run so so that's okay and um, so it looks like I'll be able to to get set up so just a quick view at the window before I start to get set up so you can see that these boulders here normally oops normally I'd be set up down in here this little bay down here which is really close to the operating spot for the antennas and um, but that's fine and um, I've got enough coax with me and um, snow's not too heavy I don't have a big jack unfortunately but uh, never mind I've got a warm van um, so let's go and see if we can get things uh, set up. So back in a little bit. So I think the big man upstairs is uh, looking after me today. Um, the snow's disappeared, but the, the rains came, but that, that's okay. It was pretty much dry for the hour it took me um, to do the setup. So, so this is the phase verticals, if you haven't seen it before. So these poles are the Life Sabris uh, 6 meter Pro pole. And this is my, uh, my favorite pole uh, of the moment. It's, uh, it's comparable in terms of uh, wall thickness quality to the spider being 12 meter pole. There's really no other pole of this um, size that comes close. So uh, for anything 40 meters and up, it's, it's absolutely perfect. The five meter poles that I were using, they were just too short for linear loading on 40. You can see the end of the 40 meter element there. You need to keep this element, the end of the element up off the ground um, to get a decent match. Um, each antenna has uh, about 16 radials. Uh, quarter wave radials or total length um, each antenna so that's uh, that's the one antenna this is the second um, it's identical identical setup and um, both antennas are set on 7.15 uh, initially uh, before I connect up the uh, phasing network so you can see the coax cable um, Coming back now, each of these lines are 157 degrees, and these come back to call this the switching box here. So, you've maybe seen this um, if you follow me on Twitter. Um, so, this is a delay line, this is 39 degrees delay line, and 157 degree uh, phasing lines. And um, this is the line that goes back to the um, the radio and this is the uh, control line which uh, switches the relays for east west and broadside the match is looking okay it's just under 201 which i think is kind of normal um, i should have said that the spacing of these an antennas is uh, eighth wave normally it's quarter wave but this is a design of i don't have the actual design from the, the on4 un book but this is the one that i'm uh, uh, kind of following a few people I've seen have done this for 20 metres and they get good results. Um, and I'll also do that because with the Christman phasing system, all I need to do is change the phasing and delay line and I, I can change bands. So 
if I had these on 20 meters, then that would be two and a half meters um, separation. Um, but yeah, not a bad day now. Um, certainly not complaining. Not a lot of people out and about, which is which is good. So let's have a look back at the uh, uh, the radio end. So I have uh, I have the radio set up the 705. I was going to bring the uh, TS 590S. Um, to get 100 watts, but I thought, no, this is really my um, favourite uh, uh, radio just now. Okay, it's only 10 watts, but it's just a beautiful uh, radio to operate. So I'm going to leave it in the box. I know some people have commented at me overheat, but I'm only using SSB. I probably won't be doing too much talking, so it should be okay. Um, you can see this is a switching box here. The LEDs on at all times. This is just indicating that I've got power connected to it. Um, Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can get a few stations there and see if I can notice some front to back there. So you can see I've just marked it up initially. So this is west, east and then broadside in the middle. And this is all being powered from my leisure battery, which is tucked away in here. And this goes to this uh, rig runner control box there. <clears throat> um, so Actually, the radio's not connected yet. The radio's only running off uh, its own power, so I'm going to connect that up. Um, this connection here is for the uh, is for the phasing system there. So I'll hook up the radio, and that's going to give me my 10 watts. I'm just going to start up uh, my laptop, and let's see if we could uh, work a couple of stations. Yeah, Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, portable, over. Yeah, right here, Mickey Mouse Zero, Ocean Papa X-Ray Portable. Hello, Colin. I see our first contact ever. Nice to copy from the portable station. You're five and nine, over. Roger, you're also, uh, you're about five, nine plus twenty. What's the name, over? Uh, all info is on QRZ, but I understand potentially you will have not the IT connection over there, but the handle is Bob, the broken old bottle Bob, over. All nice copy, and uh, your equipment is doing a very nice job, and uh, it would uh, so it be back there. A, pl um, a pleasure to work with the three elements on, uh, on 40 meters. So, I've got a few stations in the log there. One, two, three. Three stations in the log on 40. Um, but, uh, you know, I didn't expect to work too much. But I did hear some stateside there. And there was some uh, some good front to back on them, which is which is good. Um, so I would call it a successful experiment with the, the phase verticals. You can just about see them down there. I'll wipe the uh, windscreen for you. hard for you to see but they're, they're kind of here and here 705 is, uh, is working well I've been calling CQ for quite a while and um, I've run it in this box and it's not actually heated up so that's really really good and um, so I have my laptop my laptop's actually connected um, con sorry connected via Bluetooth so no wires to the radio so I can get data that way um, rig control, so that's really, really good. Um, I don't think you can get audio yet. I think you need a Raspberry Pi for that to get audio. Um, but yeah, so I think it's been a successful uh, test uh, for the phase verticals. But I'm not going to go home yet. Um, I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the antennas down, um, and I'm going to run 20 meters and just run single vertical on 20 meters but this is actually giving me the confidence this setup to, to make phase verticals for 20 meters now so I think I think that's the next step as I'll actually cut um, phasing lines and a delay line uh, and that should uh, that should work okay but a lot of stations on 40 so that's me now set up on 20 meters um, this right hand antenna you can see that I've just I've just uh, partially taken down I've disconnected the um, phasing line and I've left this antenna up here so I've got this set on 20 meters so what I've done is because it's such a long run of coax there I've used one of the um, uh, phasing lines there uh, and there's a join just halfway up or maybe not quite halfway up and the remainder of that run is a uh, Messi and Poloni Ultraflex 7 and this 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 uh, initial run is a uh, Mini 8 uh, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much losses, but it is a little bit of run, so I will be losing a little bit of power, but I'm not too too concerned. Um, I'll probably move a couple of these radials round, just round a bit more, so it's giving a bit more coverage. Um, I will do a review on these poles, on my collection of poles. I have um, I have two of these poles, I have two of the 5 metre uh, wind jammer poles, 
I have two 12 meter spider beam poles and I have a DX Commander 10 meter classic pole so I'm going to do a little review on them uh, in the next month or two and just, just give you my opinion on them and, and what I think they're uh, what they're good for but as I say these Life Sabri's uh, 6 meter pro poles are they're amazing they are really really are amazing and if you haven't seen before this is how I guide them, I only guide them at the bottom unless there's a heavy heavy wind um, so this this stainless steel a Jubilee clip um, this is not actually putting any pressure on this I'm not using this to clamp um, to this uh, smaller section this is only here for, for guying um, so what I do is this is 4mm um, nitrile rubber and all this is doing is giving me the gap um, to get these bits of uh, paracord through Initially, I wanted to use little D-rings, but the D-ring diameter was just a little bit big and they were going to crush into the pole, so I just used these bit of um, paracord and it works good. Okay, let's get back to the other end. Um, I'll just check the STWR quickly, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty good. I know this antenna pretty well, and that's the 20 meter marker. Um, and I think I'll actually need to shorten that just a little bit there. Um, but uh, then we should be good to go. Okay, let's go and see if we can, uh, we can make some contacts on 20 meters. Ciao, ciao, 73. So this is the state starting to come in now. So this is uh, Kilo Echo 5, Echo Echo. So he's good signal. Mexico, Mexico Zero, Oscar Papa X-Ray. Did I get it correct over? Uh, Roger, Roger. The name is Colin. Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November. The name is Colin and you're 5959. Can I get the call? Can I get your call, please, over? My call sign is Whiskey 5 Whiskey Alpha Zulu. Worked all zones. I'll copy over. Hey, awesome, awesome. Uh, five and nine. Five and nine. As I said, the name is Colin, and I'm only running 10 watts. 10 watts to a quarter wave vertical over salt water. Over. Wow. 10 watts? Really? Well, you're an S5 at the Magnolia test stop just northwest of Houston there, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, David. Yeah, that's uh, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, you're my first um, stateside contact, I think, on SSB on the ICOM 705. But I am uh, working over salt water. I'm just outside the capital city of Edinburgh. Um, it's uh, we had snow today. It was snowing, but uh, now we have some rain. So it's about uh, two degrees, two degrees Celsius. Not quite sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but I'm sure it's uh, a lot colder than it is beside you there, David. Back to you, Whiskey Five, a Whiskey Alpha Zulu, MM Zero OPX Portable. Right Can you do your name for me again? Over. Uh, do, do your name again uh, slowly. Over. Roger, David, the name is Colin. Colin is the name. Like Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November. Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November. Colin is the name, over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got you, Colin. Got you, got you, got you. God bless you there, Colin. God bless. Uh, I hope you have a great uh, upcoming New Year's, uh, over. Roger, Roger, David. Uh, we wish you a happy New Year and thank you very much for uh, taking the call. Uh, getting into Texas uh, this morning uh, has been absolutely uh, great. So thanks for taking the call and uh, uh, we wish you all the best there. Uh, Whiskey 5, Whiskey Alpha Zulu, MM0 OPX Portable. God bless you, Colin. God bless. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Right, we're going to uh, wrap things up here. Uh, it's been a really, really good uh, session uh, working portable. Uh, first of all, working uh, 40 meters with the phase verticals, couple of contacts on 40. Um, I did notice some front to back still, which was good. 
uh, running these verticals, I was running them linear loaded on 40 and that's what I wanted to test how they worked when they were linear loaded and they seemed to do fine, uh, the, match was, the match was okay um, back at the rig the SWR was about 1.7 but that that's nothing, you know that that that's fine. That's just that's just uh, that's just how it is. Um, and then I changed to twenty meters. Um, heard a few VK, a few ZLs, nothing really really strong. But uh, you know I couldn't break the pile up with the with the ten watts. Um, and then I was scanning about the band, and I heard a stateside station uh, looking for callers into a net. So I gave a call, and it turns out it was a station in Texas, and uh, he couldn't believe, um, you know, running ten watts. Well, you've you've seen the clip. Um, so yeah, an excellent day. I've kept up my 100% record of working stateside from this spot. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could have brought the uh, the TS590 Sugar, but uh, you know, I think working 10 watts is a real challenge, and I'm really enjoying uh, using the 705. Um, it was also being able to use my laptop and connect it uh, via Bluetooth to the 705, so that was wireless. Um, I also got a new power adapter uh, for a cigarette lighter uh, adapter for the laptop so because the battery's not great in it so i had that working testing out that's all good um and of course the 705 has the uh, voice keyer on it so you can just leave it running and that's great it saves your voice i really hated calling cq for ages especially when you're running qrp because you're going to be doing it for a while uh so i'm um, good to get out uh, last day of 2020 um please everyone stay safe and uh, going to do a you know i've got a few videos lined up as i said i'm going to do some videos on my fiberglass poles collection a little review on those uh, on the on the phasing um setup that i have I, i'm going to do a uh, a bit more in-depth video i'm going to kind of try to demonstrate the kind of basics of phasing um it, I mean, this project took me probably six, eight months to, 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 to bring to fruition there. I'm not an electronics guy, I'm not an electrics guy, you know, reading circuit diagrams is really not my thing, you know, but it's something that I've, I've learned to do uh, in order to make this, uh, this setup work there. Uh, so now I've got the confidence to, uh, to cut lines for, um, because it's Christmas phasing, I can just cut uh, phasing lines and a delay line. So I'm going to make one for 20 meters, and I'm also going to make one for 80 meters, and that's the one I'm looking forward to most, uh, getting some gain uh, on 80. And obviously on 80 it'll be uh, linear loaded again. And that's why I wanted to test it out with uh, linear loaded on 40, so I know that I think it's going to work linear loaded uh, on 80. Now if you've not subscribed to the channel, please think about doing so, hitting that um, uh, thumbs up button, or even if you don't like the channel, don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. You know that that's fine, but uh, yeah, we'll try and make some more videos uh, for 2021. So once again, stay safe, happy new year, and it's uh, bye for now.